Hey guys, what goes going on the internet? And I am here with One Shot Ren. Hello again. It's good to be back. Same here. And today, um, we'll be react to Boba Fett vs. Sarah Sarah. Oh, oh, hey, wait a minute. You already reacted to this. Oh, now, now, hold on, hold on a moment. This is not the same battle. This is a remastered version of the of this. And yeah, this is remastered, so it it pop but it might be the same map, but it's remastered. It's it's still different, okay? It's still different. Okay, okay. That's yeah, let's get started. Yeah, I, I knew you would be a little confused. Yeah, it just Yeah. Bounty also, I'm pretty sure this current season of season God, 9, Boba Fett is to know, scheduled to appear in Death Battle, or it could be the man Warren. It's Fett, one of the two. The and Samus Aran, a uh, I'm not sure if that's going to face, but I got a good feeling it definitely ain't going to be Samus again. Probably not. SDD. Yeah, different, see? Boba Fett is unnatural in but basically, one. it's kind of the same he was not stuff. Born into the galaxy, eh. rather created as a clone of the fierce Camino. Eh. Not fearsome enough, though. And Samuel and Jackson himself. killed him. Spoiler eh. side. As his father, Jango yeah. taught Boba all he knew about his profession. And despite being orphaned at age 10, Boba continued to live the hunter's I, life. I, I think it's kind of sad for him. I feel like Jango Fett kind of deserved to get killed. Dude killed, a bounty, dude killed his own bounty and I had to kill another character. Not gonna reveal who. Yeah. And titanium is the strongest metal in the world. Real world. In fact, okay. it's so durable, it resists lightsabers. You know, the swords that can cut through anything. His gauntlets house a and then it's super heat. Yep. But his weapon of choice is his EE3 carbine rifle, which fits yep. off in cradles like a child. There, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daddy's here. Killing time soon. Okay. That's creepy. Weird. However, yeah. However, my favorite thing in Boba's bag is his badass jetpack. The signature, yep, the signature jet. Up to 9 miles per hour, and a hard point like kilometers per hour. Yeah. Up to 90 miles per hour. The jetpack also yep. has a single anti-vehicle homing missile. Because when you've got space for a missile, yep. why not? In short, Boba Fett is a human Swiss army knife. He's killed hundreds of criminals, politicians, and Jedi, and battled Mace Windu yeah. to a draw when he was only 12 years old. Wow, and that's the guy who killed his dad. The one who, wow. Well, his skill, yeah. Fett has one great inescapable weakness. What's it? The Sarlacc Pit. <laughs> oh my god. physically drained Han Solo while wearing a jetpack. Yeah. And since Disney bought Star Wars and nicked the expanded universe, this is where Boba Fett's story officially ends. That's it? But that's stupid. No way! That's not it! Using a combination of his jetpack and blowing himself up, Fett actually escapes the Oh, he escaped? It takes a thousand years for the Saw Cat to digest its victims. And against Darth Vader twice. And Vader is the strongest Sith or whatever. He's, he's Anakin and Skywalker, dude. Then again, get it. Wait, I think I've seen that guy before. Huh. So that she could kill an evil, all-powerful Sith Lord, who just so happened to be her own brother. Okay. Uh, Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Fett's greatest weakness still remains that toothy sand vagina. <laughs> he has fallen into the Sarlacc a total of three times. Three <laughs> times. <laughs> It's a freaking hole in the ground. And again, yeah. he can fly. Fun fact, every year following his escape, Boba Fett uh. returns to the planet Tatooine just to shoot the Sarlacc. Ha ha ha! I'm not sure he even feels it. He's staying as far away from that shit as he possibly can. Oh, he yeah, definitely, oh, he he definitely won his lesson. Lesson learned, never go near the Sarlacc pit, no ever, ever, again. Yep. Now it's Sasha's turn. 
When she was young, Samus Aran lived with her family on Earth Colony K2. Wait, that's what you look like? Yeah, that's what you. I guess so. Pirates led by the vile Ridley, a giant purple space dragon. Ridley murdered her parents right in front of her, along with the rest of the planet. Literally yeah. everyone except for Samus. But ain't there multiple characters, different kind versions of Ridley? Thankfully, Correct. Samus was rescued by the Chozo, bird like aliens who raised her to become a warrior. She was infused with Chozo DNA. Chozo her DNA. Strength, speed, and mm. athletic ability far beyond so those why hasn't Ridley been in the death now? I don't know who she fa who I mean Ridley's face. Make sure it's a he. No. She wears the power suit, typically in Varya form. Well, I, I know the reason why Samus ain't gonna face Boba Fett again. Ahem, Metroid Dread, of course. And that's why there's so much fan service of Samus. Yeah. Well, in that zero suit, she carries a paralyzer pistol, a gun which can, well, paralyze people and turn into a laser whip. But she definitely yeah. prefers the power suit in most combat situations. As a modified version of uh, Metal yeah. Armor developed specifically for Samus, it can also be upgraded to adapt to any environment. Samus carries okay. a powerful hmm. arm cannon as her primary weapon, and she's found quite a few upgrades for it over the years. Yeah. Though the basic power beam is a pea shooter, when you charge it up, it'll blow your... Oh, yeah. Up. She can also set it to blast an ice beam, grapple beam, The only way to kill Metroid, exactly. Her Chozo training lets Samus control There's the screw the jump. Screw attack and curl into yes, a the screw attack. To traverse places few others can. How the hell does she do that? Bird DNA boomstick. Bird DNA. Yeah. Everything about this is bird DNA this, bird DNA that, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Alien bird DNA. Well, that makes more sense. That planet and its birds. But I do like their power bombs. Which Samus oh, carries and yes. can use to destroy anything in the general vicinity in seconds. Samus is known as the bounty hunter capable of taking on impossible missions, fighting massive beasts, and even wiping out an entire species. All but one. Talk about how... Oh, uh, the baby Metroid. Correct. It, it, it is the baby Metroid. makes mistakes. Somehow, she always seems to lose all her power-ups and upgrades at the beginning of every mission. <laughs> Wow. She does have all her arsenal at her disposal, it doesn't guarantee its use. For example, she once entered a volcano and did not activate her thermal systems until halfway through the mission. All because she was waiting for permission. Oh, can we wow. But don't Ridiculous. Worry, time yep. And time again to be one of the oh, well. hunters in the galaxy. Outlaws everywhere fear the name of Samus Aran. Motherbank. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So that's right, it. The yeah, that's the one down. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death Bad time. Remastered. That's right. Yep. All right. And three, I like. I can I think three D battles make it more interesting. So. Yep. This is just how it started in the original. That's you now, Thomas. Uh, maybe that maybe he has a bounty for her. Maybe. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I never maybe. I actually, I never really thought about why why that last time. Because we just started the reaction. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what these do. It's time it, the fight the fight. It's rematch. It's remaster whatever. It's still rematch, yes. Yeah, <laughs> didn't that, that even out. There you go, there's it. <laughs> Man, it says moving too quickly. Just like, no. Uh uh, wait. Bomb. I said I'll tell you. Oh. I think I know this is Well, this is Well, we didn't see Zanshi sounds last time. I'll say that. 
and nor did Boba Fett unleash a lightsaber either. Since when did... Honestly, I... When did... Since when does Boba Fett have a lightsaber anyway? Just honestly. It's not in the... You don't see it in the movies. But it's a com... It's but Either that's someone in the Clone Wars or the comics. I'm gonna go with comics since I've seen those more. That's more, a little more often. Badly. Uh. Oh, I I think I think I know where this is going. Uh, oh yeah, it happened again. That happened last time. Yep. That's just exactly what. <laughs> and he broke apart! Well, that was not- that definitely didn't happen. All I just saw was his head plopping to the ground last time. What a mess. Clearly, Samus is too good for bit for fat to take down. Yeah, no shit. Twice? Yeah. He's a master of playing his enemies into his hands. But when it comes to Samus, Fett had little to work with. Yep. Samus specifically modeled her bounty hunter career around anonymity. She's mm. even commonly mistaken as a man by the very people who... Which is understandable. Her, making it extremely yeah. difficult for Fett to get a read on her. Fett just couldn't keep his head in the game. The winner is Samus Aran. Again. Well, that's it. Yep. Well, that was, uh... Interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm not, but who knows? Maybe secretly, they, Fets it will fight Samus again. I still doubt it. Me too. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll get it. We'll have to find out for another time. Yep. All right. I guess that's it. So thanks for watching, and yeah, that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yep. See you later. Bye.